Yo, what is going on guys? Today we got another episode of Editing Reaction Breakdowns. Today we're doing Ski Mask the Slump God Baby Wipe. So everyone's been waiting for this video for a while. The teaser that they put out on uh, Twitter and Instagram looked like it was going to be a crazy video just from the effects that I saw in that with all the glowing and stuff like that. Um, looks like a lot of green screen stuff. So we're actually here early, literally 12 views on this video right now. So this just popped up in my notifications. So we're here like before a thousand. So uh, we're getting onto this early. So make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything you'd like to see me uh, break down, make sure you leave it in the comments section below but anyways guys let's hop right into this right here um, so first thing we're seeing is like I said a lot of green screen stuff with a lot of glowing you can do this you can do this glow effect in just Adobe Premiere or After Effects skin color um, and the actual body itself if you guys are working in a green screen studio like what a lot of these shots are um, what you can do is just take that layer of the green screen clip and just go into hue change it to whatever green and then add a glow make sure that glow is the same color as the skin color very easy to do um, if you guys would like a full tutorial on how to do some of the elements from that, make sure you leave it in the make sure you leave it in the comment section below. That might be a good idea for tutorial coming up. So we're seeing a lot of just green screen elements along with this. Um, you can find up you can find some green screen of this and this just by looking around on YouTube, downloading it, throwing it out here just on this black background. Uh, same with all these cars. So just a lot of unique, interesting uh, ways you can use a green screen and add those elements along with it. I just dropped my motion graphics pack to thank you guys for 10k subs. I'm also coming out with a green screen pack soon. So make sure you guys definitely go check that out. Link that in the description below. This is a cool little effect right here. I actually have a video called rotoscoping tutorial, which you can do in Premiere to learn how to do this exact same thing where it kind of like wipes away um, into the next scene. I'll link that below. It's very easy to do in Premiere. Uh, I also talk about how to do it in After Effects. I have a whole masking tutorial on that. I'll link those below. Definitely go check those tutorials out. And before I go on, I just want to say that this kind of like duo of Ski Mask and Slim God and Cole Bennett I think goes really well just because music that he makes meshes with Cole Bennett's style like very well in my opinion like um, a lot of like the trippy visuals and all the kind of crazy stuff can go along with this music and it kind of fits and it makes it like a way better video so um, it's good to see them making a lot more videos together and I hope that they keep doing stuff together because they're putting out some really good content um, and in my opinion it's some of Cole Bennett's best work doing um, what he does with uh, Ski Mask Slump God so hopefully we see more from them. Um, and what they're actually doing is just taking a picture of just the cigarettes on the table. Um, he probably took this picture himself or found it on Google Images. And um, you saw this a lot in that um, Speed Racer video um, that he did with uh, Warhol. So go, go check out that Speed Racer video if you guys want to see how to do some more green screen stuff. I'm also going to link a green screen uh, on Amazon, a very cheap one, if you guys want to go pick it up to do some of these effects. So now what we're seeing right here is Cole Bennett's kind of like signature um, RGB split, but he does it like the purple way, and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so what he's doing is he's just doing an RGB split, uh, but he's changing the but he's changing it so that instead of having it like the blue split, it's a it's a purple or reddish split. There's a lot of ways you can do it. You can do it with a channel blur. You can do it by stacking layers. My relevant videos below just so you can see more step by step ways to do this. But so for this right here, it's actually very simple to do. Um, what you can do is he probably made what he can do is he probably had this book here, which was blank, just a regular notebook that you can get from like Target or something. And what he did is he took four um, pieces of green paper and he put it in the book. So what that's doing is if you take four pieces of green paper, you put it in the notebook like this, you can actually key out that green on the notebook and you can put in whatever videos or pictures you like. So for example, he probably made this in Photoshop, this little thing right here, probably found that on Google. Uh, same with this over here. So he took a lot of time to do this. But say for example, I have a notebook. I take some. I get some green construction paper. Uh, say for example, here's my notebook. Put the green construction paper here. Whenever you go into the editor, you go to Ultra Key. You put the Ultra Key over that. You can key it out. You can take whatever scene you want. Put it in that square. So now we're just seeing some distortion. This can be done very easily using the distortion brush and After Effects. Check out my uh, Magnolia music tutorial if you guys want to learn more about that distortion effect in particular. Very, very simple to do with keyframes and the distortion brush. So now we're also seeing some cloning effect. I have a video called Trippy Young Lean Music Video Tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that. Very easy. All you have to do is just mask and, and duplicate the layers and just drag them over a little bit. We're also seeing some VHS overlay. That's, that's also going to be another pack that I'm going to be dropping soon, so make sure you guys subscribe turn on those notifications so you guys can be notified when I drop that we're seeing a lot more cloning here just kind of like a more of a ghost effect I'll link my trivia ghost effect down below it's one of my older tutorials but it's really cool and it's something more like that what we're seeing right here is he actually masked out the part of his face right here and all he did was just scale it up so it looks like his face is kind of bigger um, that's the first time I did that's the first time I've seen him do something like that but it looks pretty cool um, you can just tell that there's a feather on this mask right here check out my masking tutorial if you guys want to know how to do stuff exactly like that we're seeing a little bit of turbulent displacement just to add this kind of like trippy warping so it's a very easy effect you can do just in Premiere. 
So this right here, this is actually another one of my older tutorials I made. It's how to make your eyes bigger. So I have a video called Jimmy Wapo Big Eye Effect. Um, it's very easy. It's also using the distortion brush in After Effects. And since he's standing still here, he didn't have to do any motion tracking. Um, he can just add that effect, which is very easy, like I said. There is also a way to add motion tracking and have that big eyes if you're moving around. We're also seeing a little bit of kind of uh, 3D compositing where we're just seeing the skeleton picture pop up here. Um, looks pretty dope. That's actually a pretty cool way to do it. Kind of like a little more brother style. Um, BRTHR films, however you want to call it. But that's something I would see them do a lot. We're seeing that crazy ghosting going on right here. So this is very like high speed ghosting with a lot of different layers. So this is a really cool effect right here. What he did is just kind of create this like um, regular shape layer and made it glow and it kind of is just scroll scrolling down so it looks like it's going um, down layers. So the so what Cole does really well in a lot of his videos is he creates motion throughout the scene. He doesn't keep it as just like one static scene. He makes it so that it's actually like scrolling through. Um, you saw that a lot in the Band God music video where he'll like to scroll across the screen like this, show it like it's in kind of like three dimensional space. Um, in this example, he's scrolling up and down. So that's something that's very interesting that he does very well. Here he just has this nice b-roll slow motion slow motion scene of just the water dripping down so you can see this camera is very nice and then this right here this little transition this is pixel sorting um, I have a uh, video giving you guys a plug in to do pixel sorting very nice video um, very useful and that's about it so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video um, leave a like comment subscribe like I said anything you want me to see comment below um, I have a, I have a whole list of stuff I want to start putting out soon so I'm gonna start pumping these out um, I have a lot of ideas saved up I'm gonna take a day just to record a bunch get a bunch of content out to you guys anyways hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys later